Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video with Stylus Mustache and today I'm gonna show you guys the Black Lightning Charge Blade build. So basically this build right here was designed to be the perfect balance between DPS and survivability. So with this build right here you will be able to solo anything in Master Rank. So without further talking let's jump straight into the build. So for this build right here we're gonna be using the Black Lightning Eagle which is a brand new Red to 12 Charge Blade that you can craft using Nargakuga materials and a brand new event ticket. So now let's take a look at its stats. So, the Black Lightning Eagle comes with a total attack of 864 with a very large chunk of purple sharpness, 10% affinity and 270 thunder element. It also has two level 1 jewel slots and the power element file type. Now for the augments for this build we're gonna be using the health regen 2, which is going to be more than enough to keep your health full throughout the whole fight. Now for the armor pieces we're using the golden headdress beta plus, the golden lone mail beta plus, the Kirin Long Arms, Beta Plus. The Golden Lone Coil, Beta Plus. The Garuga Greaves, Beta Plus. And the Master's Champor. Now with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a throw attack of 918 with a very large chunk of purple sharpness, 80% affinity for hitting weak spots, 100% affinity for hitting wounded parts of the monster and 420 thunder element. So now let me show you guys all the skills that you have together in this setup right here. So here we have Divine Blessing Secret raises the maximum level of the Divine Blessing skill, Critical Eye level 7 that increases your affinity by 40%, Thunder Attack level 6 that increases your Thunder Attack by 20% plus a bonus of 100 points. Divine Blessing level 5 that makes it easier to activate the skill and while active reduces damage taken by 60%. Health Boost level 3 that increases your Health Guard by 50 points. Critical Boost level 3 that increases the damage dealt by critical hits to 40%. Weakness Exploit level 3 that increases your affinity by 30% for hitting weak spots and by 50% for hitting wounded parts of the monster. Focus level 3 that increases the Gauge Fuel Rates by 20%. Offensive Guard level 3 that while active increases attack power by 15%. Capacity Boost level 1 that increases your fire capacity by 1. Guard level 1 that very slightly decreases the impact of attacks. And 2 specialists will depend on the level 4 jewels that you have. So now let me show you guys all the decorations that we're using in this setup right here. So here we have 3 bow jewels 1 that increase your thunder attack skill. 1 tenderizer slash maintenance jewel 4 that increases both your weakness exploit and your 2 specialist skills. 3 Charger slash Vitality Jewels 4 that increases both your focus and your health boost skills. 1 Magazine Jewel 2 that increases your capacity boost skill. 1 Iron Wall Jewel 1 that increases your guard skill. 3 Critical Jewels 2 that increases your critical boost skill. 1 Guardian slash Expert Jewel 4 that increases both your offensive guard and your critical eye skills. And 2 Guardian Jewels 2 that increases your offensive guard skill. So now talking about jewels, if you prefer or depending on the monster you're fighting, you can actually switch one of those two Guardian Jewels 2 for one shield dude too so you can actually have guard up and block against ordinarily unblockable attacks so it's all up to you so that's pretty much it for the build guys now i'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration here in the training arena so you can actually see what i'm talking about here so thank you for watching guys and now check this out So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter Iceborne videos like that, so thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!